In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to easily color grade your compositions with presets. So I've got my example image here and I'm going to get started by searching for my effect. I'm going to be searching for an effect called photo filter, so it should come up just here. And I'm just going to drag it onto my example image here. Okay, so one important element about this effect is you want to choose the filter. And it gives you a drop down menu which comprises of quite a lot of presets here. So a lot of these presets will accommodate with common settings with your compositions. So for example, if I have a composition which happens to be set underwater, it has a preset just set for that. So it applies this turquoisey color onto the image which looks quite nice. And then of course it has these warming filters and cooling filters. And then it pretty much just goes through every common color and adds an effect based on that. So I quite like using warming filters on my compositions because it gives this this nice rustic effect and it goes well with most color values. So what you can do is once you've picked a preset which you like, so for example, I'm just gonna stick with this warming filter preset. What you can do is you can then change the density. And this basically just controls how powerful the color is on your image. So I've got this at the default 25%. So I'm just gonna ramp it up to 100. So as you can see, it creates this really powerful, warming sort of sepia effect on my image here. And it's quite overpowering, but then it does look quite nice. And I wouldn't advise putting your actual density up to 100 because it is quite overpowering. I'd recommend somewhere about 60 to 70% at most. And then you have this option here, which is preserve luminosity. And this basically controls if the image's brightness gets affected by the color. So if I have it clicked off, it's gonna have a bit of a sort of darkening effect. Um, so I advise you always have this ticked so the actual brightness of the image doesn't get affected by the color, especially if you're adding a dark color on the photo filter. Okay, so lastly, if these presets aren't really to your liking, what you can do is you can go down to the bottom here and you can add a custom color. So for example, if I wanted to create the effect that this forest is set in the morning and this red sky is coming out, so this is, there's this nice pink sky, what I can do is I can choose the either the color picker and pick color, or I can go to the actual color wheel here and select my color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the pinky colors here, and I'm gonna pick a nice pink color here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the density a bit here. So obviously I don't want it to be really overpowering. I want it to go to about 65 maybe. So it creates this really nice pink effect here which sort of gives the illusion that it's this nice sort of morning effect here, a morning time light sort of reflecting on the trees and forests here. And so of course, like with any effect here, you can do a preview and you can click this button and see what my image looks like before the effect. So as you can see, it looks very natural, sort of a green shade here. And then if I click this and put my photo filter effect on, you get this really nice warm ambient pink effect here. So it creates a really nice atmosphere. Okay, so there we go. And as always, I hope you found this video useful. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe.